Well, today, guys, we are talking about the X-Men again, not X-Men 97 or anything like that, but X-Men in general, the MCU X-Men movies that are coming up eventually. We're not sure when, but we're going to talk about this ridiculous tweet from an actor named John Carlo Exposito. You guys know him as Gus Fring in Breaking Bad, amazing show, probably one of the best TV shows ever. Not a big TV or movie watcher, I prefer video games, but it was a great show. And this tweet comes from X-Men Updates. Yes, that loser. The loser that said, if you don't like that morph is non-binary, then you don't know what the X-Men is, is about. And Stan Lee literally never mentioned anything about non-binary people because it's not a real thing. And it's still not a real thing, but that's not a here though there. I made a video about that a long time ago. But anyway, let's read this tweet. John Carlo Esposito says that him playing Professor X and Denzel Washington playing Magneto would be great. Oh my god. Yup, it's this again. It's not only a race swap, it's the bullshit narrative and comic book. That Malcolm X is Magneto and, and Charles Xavier is, is Martin Luther King Jr. Yes, they are doing this nonsense again. They are doing it again, guys. Now you have an actual black actor. Do I need to play that video again for you guys from the Comic-Con panel or some conventions like that? Let's just play that real quick. Nothing to do with Marvel, but he told me about it. The first thing I said is, what about my cameo? <laughs> but we'll see, we'll talk about that later. I want to play hard to get. <laughs> Sir, where did you get the idea for the X-Men, and did you originally create them to destroy racial prejudice? I didn't create them to destroy racial prejudice. And there you have it, guys. Stan Lee himself said, did not create the X-Men to destroy Rachel Prejudice. So why are these idiots saying this? Because they desperately want it to be true. They want to be like the ones to create everything. You know, the we was Kang and shit. That argument, we was mutants and shit. X-Men is black. X-Men is for the hood. You know, that stupid ass argument. That never happened. That was not the inspiration. He literally said many times in many different interviews, he did not want to come up with origin stories. He literally just didn't want to come up with nonsense like getting bit by something or a science explosion. Do these guys not hear what they're saying? They're literally trying to retcon a holocaust survivor and be a denialist about him surviving that event in World War II. I don't know what they realize that's what they say. I can't, I'm literally laughing just saying this out loud. That's how ridiculous this is. That is part of his backstory. That is a tragic backstory. Why would you change it? There was no such thing as a black Jew. There was no black people in, in Germany during that time period. And there's probably none now. If you look at demographics, I don't know. I don't have to look it up. Magneto is not black. He's Jewish and white. Okay? Do not change that. John Carlo Esposito. It's a great actor. Denzel Washington is a legend in the industry. This is not the role for you. Go play somebody else. Why can't these people literally play a character that isn't sloppy seconds? Why are you so desperate to look up the plate after a white male is done using up the character and you get on your knees and ask for the sloppy seconds like a dirty dog? It's ridiculous. You not understand that you're getting the leftovers stop asking for this leftovers and ask for the actual characters like bishop and darwin and storm this shit is sloppy you should feel insulted if you don't feel assaulted i don't know what the hell is wrong with you personally but i do not like race swaps of any kind because race shouldn't even matter when it comes to like whether you not like a character or not i don't know why race is even part of the discussion that just doesn't make any sense to me why don't you tell these people to give us the original characters that are just sitting on a comic book for fucking years? Why are you desperate for sloppy seconds? It makes no sense to me. You have people even saying they should retcon the fact that he was a Holocaust survivor, Magneto, I'm talking about, and make it a part of the civil rights movement instead? Then it's not even the same character at that point. If you change the whole origin story, just make a brand new character. Why don't you idiots do that? You shouldn't do that with the X-Men. You want to do it with something else in your own free time. The people behind this ridiculous 
decision if it comes true. And it wouldn't surprise me, it wouldn't surprise you, but if it comes true, you just make your own character. You want to have all, all this vitriol because you're changing something that already exists. And of course, the race baiters are condoning this nonsense with ridiculous things that are saying on the internet, the same typical narrative. And some people are literally wanting this to happen just to piss people off. But I'm telling you guys now, Marvel, Disney, if you do this, the X-Men is dead on arrival. There's no discussion. There's nothing to talk about. The X-Men is dead. We've been waiting for these characters for the longest time. You had an obnoxious portrayal of Charles Xavier and Multiverse of Madness. The portrayal himself was good, but you literally snapped his neck. You literally did that. That movie was a disgrace. So, <sighs> you guys know how it is. This movie is going to flop if this happens. Yes, this is a random actor saying it. But if they actually do it, this shit is going to die. And that is it for the video today, guys. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, hit the bell notification. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.